Hello guys, my name is Saturnax. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can turn your phone into the second display for your laptop or for the PC or for your MacBook. So yes, I recorded a similar video on how to do this like a half a year ago, so if you didn't see this video, you can just click on the right upper corner to see that, and it was basically the same way, but I was just doing this on the Android device, tablet, so if you have an Android device, you can just get into this video and it's gonna be the same. And uh, in this video, we're gonna be using the same way, the same technique of doing this. So first of all, you have to go into your um, App Store. And once you are in the App Store, you have to click on search. And here you have to type in Space Desk. Okay, let's open the app. And now the software shows you that you also need to install the app by the name of Space Desk on your laptop or your PC. So let's get into this. Let's go to the browser and let's type in here space desk. Here we go, let's type on this. And this is how it looks like you have to click on download. And uh, as you can see for my Windows, I got this. And now it's loading. Let's open this up, click on next, let's accept the terms, click on next, next, and next, and install. Now let's finish, and now let's proceed to the app, let's type in here space desk server, and as you can see it shows you the server that you have to uh, connect to on your phone, so now let's just take a look at our phone. And yeah, now as you can see in the connection tab here, we have the uh, laptop available to connect to, so let's click on that. And now you can just monitor all of the things that you have on your laptop, um, just on the phone, so it's really convenient. And you can just treat this like a secondary display. And the next thing that you can also do to get like the borderless display on your phone is to go into the settings. And here you can also select the resolution, so I want it to be... Um, 1980 by 720 so let's click on this and uh, let's save it and now let's click on this so yeah it's connected let's pinch into zoom and now I have the borderless display that's nice it's mirroring the display from your computer to your phone so you can just do whatever you want on your computer through your phone it's actually controllable as you can see uh, if I want to get into, for example, I want to drag this. It's acting like a mouse. Let's click on this one. And this is how it looks like. You can also zoom in. By the way, this is my Blender project and I'm just considering of making an NFT out of it, so if you're interested in buying this, it will be appreciated. Alright, but you might also want to extend your display on your computer to your phone. So, to do this, let's just go into the uh, display settings and as you can see here, we have the multiple display options. Instead of duplicating the displays, let's click on extend these displays. And um, now let's just keep the changes. And as you can see, I have the blank desktop on my phone, so let's just minimize this. And um, I want to move this object between this display and this display, so let's do this. As you can see, now it's appearing on my second display on the phone. I want it to be back on my main display, so let's do this. You just drag this between the displays with the mouse and it's really convenient. Alright guys, so for example I'm just working on this object and the blend them. 
and I want to have the second display for browsing the web so I can just take my phone open up the browser on my main display now we can actually type in here YouTube it's getting into the YouTube app as you can see you just scroll down you have all the things that are on here and you can just do whatever you want on the display it's really convenient and to disconnect the phone from the computer you have to just close the app so yeah it's closed so yes that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see me in the next one like the video if you like it dislike if you don't and uh, see me in the next one see ya guys